<laughs> so you you kind of got picked because you did Idol, yeah. and then you had this amazing fan, Jessica, mm -hmm. who sort of started a petition. Yes. So Let's explain, start there, and then talk about your journey here. Okay, well, when I got kicked off American Idol, a lot of people like disagreed with the fact that I went home. I mean, I don't know how that happened. They're the ones voting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but... Uh, <laughs> Now, Jessica Bongiorno, she made a petition for me, which was a blessing because Simon Fuller caught wind of it and it was like 20,000 people had signed it and I only had been off the show for like a week. So he was just like, S we need to do something with this kid, you know, people still want to hear him. So he decided to put me on If I Can Dream and that's where I'm at right now. So would you, so would you say that getting kicked off of Idol was a blessing in disguise? Every time I work with a writer or producer, I'm like, I'm so glad I'm not on that tour right now. I'm like, I'm getting to work on my music. I'm putting my album together right now and I'm writing every single song on it. So it's like, it's really, a, it's amazing. It's a blessing in disguise. That's the perfect words for it. And I saw that you did a music video yeah, in New York. That was intense. So yeah, tell me about the concept. Okay, well the song I did was I Didn't Know and I probably wrote it like two months ago. And there was, there's 60 pianos set around New York like in the most amazing spots. And like, it was crazy for me because I've never been to New York. So it was like, a perfect experience because I'm doing my first music video and I'm in New York for my first time. It was so overwhelming, but I was just trying to like stay grounded and understand like that I have to really hustle on this music video to make it look good. Well, living in this house, it's very surreal. There's over 50 cameras monitoring your every <laughs> move. What is the hardest part about, you know, people being able to see you? I, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, nothing's really hard about it because I mean, all I have to do is really be myself and then I'm good, you know, and it's that's all I know how to do is be myself. So it's pretty easy, actually. Well, you're very confident now, <laughs> but pr prior to coming into the house, you weren't as confident, and that was maybe one of the reasons why you thought you didn't get voted yeah, into yeah, Idol. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely. So the how reason. did that how did that change? Well, when I was on American Idol, that was my first time ever to really be on stage. I played at a few coffee st shops, but like I said, there wasn't even a stage there. I was just playing, and people weren't even really listening to me. So it was really, it, I went from never being judged before to being judged in front of millions of people. So it was, it was really intense and I didn't really know what I had, you know, I didn't know my ability. So it was hard for me to kind of understand that I could sing. And when I got off American Idol, so many people were like, oh no, you, should, you didn't deserve it and then stuff. So like, I don't know, that gave me a lot of confidence. You have an interesting background though. You come from yeah. a large family, lots of brothers, yeah, right? Yeah, lots of brothers, yeah. And uh, the life that you live now is very different to the <laughs> life that you had. So yeah. how, how has that changed? Well, I mean, I'm, every time someone asks me that, I don't want to like, give a sob story or anything, but like back home, we really didn't have anything. You know, like we were pretty broke and I slept on the ground most of my life. So I wake up every day happy all day long. It's like impossible for me to have a bad day. <laughs> the last time that we talked to you, you're wearing this pic from yeah. a fan mm -hmm. and you're not wearing it anymore, but what's the craziest <laughs> gift that you've ever gotten from a fan? I got that guitar over there. It's like a- As mini, a present from as a, a fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also got another guitar. And they, no way. Yeah, I get the best gifts, but the craziest, I got some silly bands. You know these silly bands? Can I snap no, no, look, your look, look, wrist? Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, it like forms a dog. Oh, no way. Yes, but I mean, I've never they seen send it. me all kinds of stuff. Like, my fans are really amazing. We have a lot of roommates. <laughs> What's the worst roommate experience that you've ever had? Ah, oh, the worst roommate experience? Probably Jig, period. <laughs> That's <laughs> I, not I'm very just, nice. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She doesn't bother me at all. She's really cool. But um, roommate experience was probably when Amanda was here. Okay. And uh, she, uh -oh. she just charged me up for no reason one time. So I had to, you know, put it in line, so. Okay, so line. what makes a good roommate? Makes a good roommate. I think for If I Can Dream, what makes a good roommate is someone who really doesn't give a shit about what they say or what they do because at the end of the day, that's when people are gonna really love you is when you're just being yourself. And I can't stand, like, people that act fake, you know? And, like, I think for the best thing for a roommate is just to be completely real. Do you ever feel competition with your roommates? Well, not anymore. Like, when Justin was in the house, like, it was healthy competition. It was never like, oh, I hate you. It was like, he would come home, play me one of his songs, and I'd be like, damn, that's nice, dude. I need to kind of step my game up and come back with a better song. So, but when Justin was here, a lot of competition, but not really, because I'm the only musician in the house now, so. Well, there was another musician in the house, <laughs> and her name was Veronica, I believe. Yes, yeah, yes. So, and you kind of stole her away. From Ben. No, I didn't steal her away. That's not how it goes. That's oh, not so, how it went. Okay, at all. so how did it go down? Your story. Veronica's a little player. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. No, I know she's not. <laughs> um, well, her and Ben went on a date, and honestly, 
I think they would be cool together, but like the cameras and stuff, like at the date, like made it awkward. So Ben really couldn't be himself and stuff. So I don't know. I guess she just liked the fact that I'm not really like an awkward person. I could just like, I tell it how it is, you know, like 100%. So I, I didn't steal her away. That's not how it happened. We went on, I <laughs> took her on a drive to go see like LA and stuff, and then. She made the move on me. I didn't do nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh, maybe you're the player. No, I'm not the player. She's the one making the moves. This is an amazing project, but in your opinion, why should people watch? Why should people tune in? For me, the show is, is showing things that have never been shown before. So, for instance, people are getting to see the behind the scenes of a music video. Like, that's so badass. Like, I, I'm, like, obsessed with the show. Like, I watch the show every week. If I wasn't on it, I would watch it. It's just, like, you're getting to see the ride. You know, no one's get, gotten to see, like, the ride of trying to make it in Hollywood and be successful, and it's just like, so many people are curious. Well, if any celebrity could move into the house, who would you want to move in? Ooh, Megan Fox. <laughs> she's married now, she's a married woman. Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, she's married? Yes, you gotta keep up with the, oh, with the entertainment news. My dreams have just been crushed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, any celebrity, John Mayer, or like, someone that could help me write my songs, or Adele, I love Adele, yeah. she's amazing. She's like my vibe, kind of, so. And I have to know, the tagline of Jersey Shore is Jim Tan Laundry. If you could create a tagline <laughs> for If I Can Dream, what would it be? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now you put me on the spot. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> tagline, uh, hustle, <laughs> money, and passion. I'm just playing. Hustle, I'll, money, passion. That was kind of cheesy, but that I, that's good. all I can think about right now.